Hi, I'm George Newton from the Microsoft Power Apps team. In this series, we'll go over the first three apps of the SAP Procurement Accelerator. We'll start in this video with a look at the Vendor Management app. Because before you can buy anything, SAP needs some information about who you're buying it from. The Vendor Management app is going to make this easy. First thing you may want to do is check if the vendor you're going to uh, use already exists. We give you a few ways to do this. If you recently viewed the vendor, it's going to be in your history. Just click here. And by selecting it, uh, it's going to call standard functions in SAP, bring back the vendor record. Uh, if you happen to know the vendor number, you can actually key it in directly right here. Or if you know only the name or some other information, you can search for the vendor. I only know part of the name. I can key it in here and search. And again, it's going to SAP, reading standard tables and bringing back the record. Now, if I see a problem with the, uh, the record and upon reviewing it, I can make a correction here pretty easily. And by saving, it's actually calling standard BAPIs as well to make updates in SAP. Then it retrieves the updated record and you can see the correction is saved. Now, if the vendor you need does not already exist in SAP, uh, we can add it. All the fields here uh, have been streamlined. This is not every field in the SAP screens, but if this is all we need for our business, then this is what we'll work with. Purchasing org. You make this easy by limiting the fields to the ones that you need. And then company codes. Now, I don't know the general ledger account, but I can search for it. I know it's a payable account, and I know it's within the health chart of accounts. Accounts payable. That's it. I just need a payment method. Payment terms, done. I can review what's here on the page. If I like it, I can hit save. Again, it's going to SAP with standard functions for vendor create. Okay. The new vendor has been uh, created, saved, and this, this vendor number was assigned by SAP. Now, uh, if I go to the requisitions history tab, obviously there's not going to be anything there. This is a new vendor. What I am able to do uh, is click new from the requisitions page. It'll launch the next app in the series, which is SAP requisition management. We'll be working with that in the next video. Thanks.